All right, on a Nissan hard body, also on the uh, first gen, the D22 Frontier, and the older trucks, the 720s and the 620s, lowering these trucks uh, involves loosening the torsion bars. Now, for those of you who've done this, awesome. Uh, for those of you that haven't, that's what this video is for. Uh, since this truck is getting cut up anyways, it'll be a perfect example of being able to show you how you how you go about doing this. I can't stress safety enough. Please, if you go to lower your truck doing this this technique, at least the, I'm going to talk about lowering the front end of your truck right now. If you go to do this, make sure that you have the weight off the front off the front wheels. Get it up, get it up on jack stands. You don't want to do this while the uh, torsion bars are under any kind of uh, pressure of having the vehicle weight on them. So basically what you're going to do is if you look at the back end of these torsion bars here, there's an anchor. The torsion bar feeds into this anchor and this anchor can pivot. And this anchor has uh, splines in it, so it slides onto the end of the torsion bar here. The torsion bar slides into the control arm. There's an anchor mount on the control arm here. Let me move this dandelion here. See the torsion bar feeds into this. This is also has teeth on it. So once this is locked on this end and the torsion bar is locked on this end, any movement of the control arm is going to twist this bar. And that's this is a spring this is spring steel. So if you twist it, it's going to want to spring back to the original shape that it was in. You can adjust the the height of this by turning the bar. So if you turn the bar, so the bar turns this way, it's going to increase your ride height because it's going to push down further on the control arm. If you turn the bar this way, it's going to lower the ride height because the control arm is going to go with it. It's going to all twist as a whole assembly. The trick to doing that is this adjustment bolt right here. There's an identical one on the other side. This adjustment bolt right here has two lock nuts on it, or has a, two nuts on it, a lock nut and, a, and, a, and an adjustment nut. By unscrewing these nuts, it's going to cause the torsion bar to turn. This whole assembly is going to turn because the bolt's going to get longer this way. You're going to feed more thread in, and this whole thing's going to go like this. That's going to, in turn, cause the whole assembly to turn, and it's going to bring the control arms closer to parallel. So everything's going to move up. The frame's going to move down as a result. So as the control arms move up, the frame moves down. That's how you lower a torsion bar suspension. So you want to loosen this first nut, and then you're going to turn the second nut. And by turning the whole thing, by lengthening the bolt, it's going to turn this thing clockwise. And it's going to make the whole assembly turn clockwise. Uh, vice versa, if you want to raise the truck, this is on a two-wheel drive, you tighten this. And that's going to turn this anchor counterclockwise. That's going to put more tension on the bar. And the bar is going to turn and it's going to push the control arm further down. So it's going to raise the frame from that point on. So uh, hopefully that video helps you if you're getting into lowering these trucks or raising them up. This is how you do it. When we say that there's a torsion bar anchor, this is the anchor, the rear anchor. This is where all the adjustment is done. The front anchor is where the torsion bar mounts into the lower control arm. If you pull the torsion bars out for any reason, make sure that you have them fully seated when you go to put everything back together because I've seen people put them in, think that they're all the way in, go off-roading with them or go driving with them, and then all of a sudden the splines get tore out because only half the bar was fed into the, uh, the front part, the front anchor there. So uh, make sure everything's seated properly. Make sure this is seated properly. Um, and then when you're done adjusting, make sure you put this lock nut back up again so it can't make any adjustments. You will notice that after driving it for a few miles, you may have to readjust because, like anything, stuff has to settle. And as it drives around, it'll settle. There you go. That's how you lower a two-wheel drive hard body with torsion bar suspension. Leave a, leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Leave me some comments. Subscribe. And have a great day.